Mr. MacRat presents his top 10 Mac games of 2023. For reference, all games have been played on an M3 iMac. Number 10, we have Grid Legends. Starting off this list is a new racer for Mac by Codemasters and Feral Interactive. It's been years since Mac gamers have seen a AAA racing game on Mac, not since Dirt 4 or Gravel in 2019. Finally, Grid Legends fills that void. Players can try out the new story experiences or jump into career events. You can create your own races in Race Creator or fine tune your vehicles in the garage. This is the deluxe version too, which means it has no in-app purchases for additional content. It's all there with just one purchase. Sadly, there is no multiplayer with this port though, which is kind of sad. This is a Metal 3 game and it comes with Metal FX spatial support and HDR. It's really well optimized too, with 1080p 60fps on my M3 iMac or 4K 60fps on, let's say, a Mac Studio. It also comes with racing wheel support on Mac. Here I am using my Logitech G920 and driving force shifter, and it works wonderfully. Farrell told me most USB racing wheels are supported, but on screen are a list of devices that Farrell tested in-house. Grid Legends is only available for Mac via the App Store, and it is only supported on Apple Silicon Macs. Number 9 is Elix 2. In this sequel to the vintage open world RPG Elix, Jax must once again unite the free people of the science fantasy world of Magellan against a new threat, the Skylands. For an action RPG, this obviously isn't going to compete with, you know, The Witcher 3 or, or Skyrim, but there is nothing quite like this on Mac currently, and for what it's worth, I think it's fun. The Mac version is also much better optimized than Windows. Elix 2 takes advantage of the Metal shading language with Metal's indirect command buffer approach and augment buffers on Mac, and fully embraces the GPU-driven pipelines. All the game technology was ported over to Metal 2.4 with Metal FX temporal upscaling tessellation shaders and full controller support with haptic feedback. Elix 2 is only available for Mac via the App Store. It is officially supported on all Apple Silicon Macs and should be supported on these Intel Macs. Number 8 we have Izonzo. Izonzo is a World War 1 FPS set on the Italian front. Players will battle among the scenic peaks ragged valleys, and towns of northern Italy. Black Mill Games are always great at bringing their World War I shooters to Mac. Yes, Izonzo took a little longer than Tannenberg and Verdun, but this game is much more challenging to run. Unlike the prior games which ran under OpenGL, this is a Metal 2 game, with AMD FSR 2.0 support as well. Izonzo brings AAA tech and graphics, but from a small developer and Unity, and it's really impressive to see. And even more impressive that they decided to bring the game to Mac in the first place, due to, you know, our small player base over every other gaming platform out there. It runs 1080p, medium, 60 FPS on M1, and up to 4K on higher end Macs. Izonzo is available for Mac via Steam and the Epic Game Store. Note, it's not a native Apple Silicon application on either storefront. It is officially supported on all Apple Silicon Macs and should be supported on these Intel Macs. Number 7 is Everspace 2. Everspace 2 is a fast-paced single-player spaceship shooter with exploration in space and on planets. It has tons of loot, RPG elements, mining, and crafting. Experience an exciting sci-fi story set in a vivid, handcrafted open world full of secrets and puzzles and perils. 
The game supports Unreal Engine 4.27.2, AMD FSR 1.0, and the Metal API. The bad news is that HDR is not enabled on Mac or Windows PC. The game's requirements are high for Mac, but definitely not as high as the official requirements on the Steam page or GOG page, saying it needs an M2 Pro or higher Mac. Nonsense. I had an okay time on my 13-inch MacBook Pro with M2 at 1080p medium, or 1080p high on my M3 iMac with AMD FSR on balanced. Everspace 2 is available for Mac via GOG and Steam. It has a free demo on Steam if you want to try out the game before you buy it. Please see a list of recommended Macs to play the game on now. Number 6 we have SnowRunner. Announced back at WWDC 23, SnowRunner is the ultimate off-road experience to try on Mac. SnowRunner puts you in the driver's seat of powerful vehicles as you conquer extreme open environments with the most advanced terrain simulation ever. Drive about 40 vehicles from brands such as Ford, Chevrolet, and Freightliner as you leave your mark on an untamed open world. Overcome mud, torrential waters, snow, and frozen lakes while taking on perilous contracts and missions. Expand and customize your fleet with money upgrades and accessories, including an exhaust snorkel for heavy waters or chain tires to battle the snow. This is a Metal 3 game and it supports metal effects in the background. Cool. It also features all platform crossplay support and community created mods are available from mod.io. SnowRunner is available for Mac via the App Store, Steam, and the Epic Game Store. It is officially supported on all Apple Silicon Macs, but is also unofficially supported on the following Macs. Number five is Stray. Also announced for Mac back at WWDC 23, Stray is an outstanding indie adventure game by Blue 12 Studio and Annapurna Interactive. You play as a stray cat who is lost alone and separated from family. The game is set within the detailed neon lit alleys of a decaying cyber city and the murky environments of its seedy underbelly. Roam surroundings high and low defend against unforeseen threats and solve the mysteries of this overwhelming place inhabited by curious droids and dangerous creatures. This is another Metal 3 game, and you can manually change the resolution scale using either a scaling solution of Metal FX Spatial or the built-in scaler. I found that the built-in scaler actually has better performance than Metal FX. On my M3 iMac, it plays at 1080p high, 30fps. It's quite a demanding game. Stray is available for Mac via the App Store and Steam. It is only supported on Apple Silicon Macs. Number four, we have No Man's Sky. In No Man's Sky, players are presented with a galaxy to explore, filled with unique planets and life forms and constant danger and action. The Mac version has full cross save and cross play, allowing players to join the millions of existing players on Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, PC, and even VR. The game runs on Metal 3 and has two Metal FX scaling options for spatial and performance, with different quality options for each two. It's a little sad though that HDR is not supported for Mac. Regardless, the game runs wonderfully on Mac, but it's no surprise, as it's not a very challenging game in the graphics department. Anyway, No Man's Sky is available for Mac via Steam. It is supported on all Apple Silicon Macs, and should be supported on these Intel Macs. I wonder if Hello Games have any plans to bring their upcoming game, Light No Fire, to Mac. That would be cool. Number three is the Resident Evil 4 Remake. Six years have passed since the biological disaster in Raccoon City. Leon S. Kennedy, one of the survivors, tracks the president's kidnapped daughter, 
to a secluded European village where there is something terribly wrong with the locals. I wondered if Mac gamers would see the RE4 remake after Capcom brought RE Village to Mac in 2022, and here we are! Yippee! It was announced for Mac back at the iPhone 15 Pro event. Included is Metal 3, Metal Effects Support, which I believe is Spatial, HDR, and it's a universal purchase between Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Oh, totally awesome! I'm a little disappointed though that the game has no dual sense features such as haptic feedback or adaptive triggers, and it also has no ray tracing support. And it's not very playable on M1 chips, seeing about 30 FPS at 1080p lower settings. I would like it to be a bit better optimized. M1 Pro and above is recommended here. Resident Evil 4 is only available for Mac via the App Store. It is only supported on Apple Silicon Macs. Here's hoping Capcom bring the RE2 and RE3 and RE7 remakes to Mac. Number two, we have Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3 is a player-driven RPG based on Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. The game is filled with a rich character creation system that could really be its own game. You will create an avatar based on many different D&D races. Select their cantrips, skills and abilities and then enter a world where your actions define the 100 plus hour story. Baldur's Gate 3 took over the gaming space this year, showing that quality RPG games or just games in general can still be successful without annoying pay to win elements or by being backed by an absolutely massive corporation. Elverells have delivered a fairly competent port, but it's still far from perfect, and I wish it could be a lot better. This is why it's second on my list. 900p medium 30fps on my 13-inch MacBook Pro with M1 is the best I can get it to run, or 1080p medium 30fps on my M3 and Mac. Not great. Be sure to utilize AMD FSR 1.0 to improve performance on high-end chips and on low-end devices, play with a 30 or 60 FPS cap and V-Sync enabled for a more consistent experience. Baldur's Gate 3 is available for Mac via Steam and GOG. It is supported on all Apple Silicon Macs and supported on the following Intel Macs. Number one, we have Lies of P. Yep. Lies of P is my favorite Mac game of 2023, which might come as a surprise to some, but I just adore this game. Yes, I love Baldur's Gate 3, but its poor performance ruins the experience. Lies of P is one of the most optimized AAA Mac ports I've ever seen. It has 1080p 60fps at medium graphics on an M1 13-inch MacBook Pro and 4K high 60fps on a Mac Studio. Besides that, we don't really have many Dark Souls type games on Mac, but we now have basically the next best thing, Lies of P. In Lies of P, you are awakened by a mysterious voice that guides you through the plague city of Krat, a once lively place that has been poisoned by madness and bloodthirst. In this Souls like, you must adapt yourself and your weapons to face untold horrors, untangle the unfathomable secrets of the city's elites, and choose whether to confront predicaments with the truth or weave lies to overcome them on the journey to find it yourself. Oh, isn't that lovely? The Mac port comes with Metal 3, Metal Effects, and HDR support. Lies of P is available for Mac via the App Store and Steam. It is only supported on Apple Silicon Macs. Here are some bonus games. Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader is an excellent, story-rich, classical RPG from Al Cat Games. Firmament is a new puzzle adventure game by legendary game studio behind the best-selling games Mist and Riven. Dave the Diver is a casual, single-player adventure RPG featuring deep-sea exploration and fishing during the day and sushi restaurant management at night. Layers of Fear is an Unreal Engine 5 remake of the original Layers of Fear 1 and 2 iconic 
horror experiences. In Total War Pharaoh, the newest entry in the award-winning Grand Strategy series, immerse yourself in ancient Egypt at the height of its power and experience the dramatic events that threaten its destruction. So, what do you think of these new Mac games from 2023? Are you impressed or disappointed? Overall, Mac gaming still sucks. There is no denying that. But you simply can't deny that 2023 has probably been the best year for Mac gaming since, I don't know, ever. I can't say if Mac gaming will ever come close to other platforms, especially Windows PC. That is misleading to say right now, but here is what I can say. I've been gaming on Mac since the late 90s, since I was like four, and covering it on this channel since 2013. I've never seen so many AAA games release on Mac across one year. More developers are gradually starting to be more interested in Mac as a platform for their games. Mac gaming as a topic is buzzing more online lately on social media platforms. And now more than ever, Mac hardware is very capable at high-end gaming. But at the end of all this, there are still not many gamers on Mac. So why would a developer want to port their game here if there are not many people who will play it in the first place? So let's keep promoting Mac gaming in 2024 and until I die, yeah. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything Mac gaming related. My name's Stewie and thanks for watching.